What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 26.2 beta 2 to registered developers and soon to public beta testers. Now along with this release, we also got the second beta for iPadOS 26.2, watchOS 26.2, macOS Tahoe 26.2, tvOS and HomePod version 26.2, along with visionOS 26.2. But of course in this video we are focusing on iOS 26.2 beta 2 and everything new in the software. So let's start by taking a look at the build number so if we head into our settings general about the new build here is 23c 5033h and if we go back and check out the modem firmware version that is 1.20.05 for the iphone 17 series all right so now what's new here in ios 26.2 beta 2 and the very first thing i noticed is that we have multiple new animations in this update that make ios 26 feel a lot more like the demo that apple showed at the Worldwide Developers Conference when they first unveiled the liquid glass design in iOS 26. So the first one I want to show you is on the home screen right here. If you tap on the edit button right here, take a look at this animation. So if we go ahead and tap on edit, you could see it has that kind of teardrop, that raindrop style of animation. Now, if we compare that to beta one and every other version of iOS 26, take a look at this. So this is what it looked like in iOS 26 through iOS 26.2 beta one, but here's what it looks like in iOS iOS 26.2 beta 2. You can see a pretty obvious difference there in the animation. I think it looks a lot better. It looks a lot more fluid and like what Apple showed us to begin with. Now, this is also not just exclusive to the home screen. This is throughout the menus in iOS. So if you go into photos, for example, if we go into our photos application, we tap on the three dot menu right here, you could see that animation also happens with this menu inside of photos. And you will notice that throughout iOS with the menu system, they all have this new animation style. Even in the music application, we tap on the three dot menu right here, you can see that the menu comes out with that new animation style. Now I do also just want to clarify that this animation does not have any lag. As you can see right here, there is no lag when I pull out this menu right here and it has that animation. So in the screen recording that I shared on Twitter or X, it did look like there was a hitch, like some type of lag, but that's an issue with screen recordings. I've been facing that for years on many iOS versions, going back many iOS versions, but you could see there's no lag there. Now we also have a few new changes to the reminders application with beta two. So as you guys know, with beta one, we saw the introduction of urgent reminders and getting an alarm for your reminder. So now iOS 26.2 beta 2 expands on that and we get a brand new splash screen here so it says introducing urgent reminders so we have get an alarm mark a reminder as urgent and get an alarm when it's due we have snooze snooze your alarm if you can't get to it right away and also stay reminded if you choose to snooze or stop a live activity remains to let you open reschedule or complete the reminder so that's a brand new splash screen right there now in the actual application we have some changes as well and I actually notice this from the very beginning so you'll see with 26.2 beta 1 on the left 26.2 beta 2 on the right we have Siri suggestions that now has a new look and it doesn't actually say Siri suggestions anymore it just says suggested list and it shows groceries automatically categorize items so if I tap on that it will take me there so I'm not entirely sure if that's the same as Siri suggestions but that was showing up in the place of it and my Siri suggestions no longer show up here on my main menu so that's interesting it doesn't seem like it was the same because it shows something different in my Siri suggestions but that is something new I noticed here with beta 2 but the bigger change comes when we actually go into a reminder so if we go into our reminders right here we go ahead and to edit one of our reminders or just create a new reminder we'll just create a new one when you go to create a reminder you'll notice that now with beta 2 you can see the urgent toggle whereas before you were not able to see the urgent toggle until you selected not only a date but also a time only then would the urgent toggle appear right here inside of your reminders application but now you could see it from the very start and also if you just select a date you could also have the urgent you know reminder go off at a date and it will choose the default date for you at 6 p.m whereas before you had to manually go ahead and do that yourself so in the first beta of ios 26.2 we saw that the podcast application added automatic chapters so now if a podcast host does not you know manually enter in the chapters for that episode apple will do it using automatic chapters which is extremely helpful and extremely useful now there's a small change with beta 2 but if you take a look underneath of chapters we now have a little magic glyph icon to the left 
of automatically created right there underneath of chapters. But the feature itself works the same and you can see that when you scrub across on the little now playing bar, you can see that all the animations show up the same. It's just that small change there with the glyph when you tap on the chapters. Now also new in iOS 26.2 beta 2 is a brand new animation that might be one of Apple's best. Now it might not be as practical, but just looks wise and just how it appears and how it transitions is amazing. So in the measure application, if you go into the level right here, here's what it looked like on all of the iOS 26 versions. So it looked like this, you have these little, you know, balls and you can see kind of how it levels out everything right there. So it's just using these little circles right there to do it. But take a look at how that looks with iOS 26 point to beta two. take a look at the bubbles the animation right there it uses liquid glass and you can kind of see the refraction from the numbers inside so obviously it's not going to be super readable at some sections so hopefully apple will fix this and kind of update that to look better be more readable but this animation is just top tier like it's just so fun to play around with this and you can see how it goes side to side and just these liquid glass circles are pretty cool i have to say and i'm not sure why it was red right there but here's what it looks like when it's black and you can kind of see the numbers are a little bit more legible when it's black but you can see what this looks like now in 26.2 beta 2. i'm sure apple will continue to tweak this to make it a little bit more readable when it gets to like the center like this but i don't think it's too bad i just think it's a really cool animation now we also have a minor change to liquid glass with beta 2 and that is if you tap and hold on the x button for notification center to clear all notifications that's now been updated with the liquid glass design so before if you have to press on that you could see this is the bubble that you would get that is not liquid glass and it's also a lot more squared off than something you'd see with liquid glass but now in 26.2 beta 2 if you have to press on that same x right there you could see you get a liquid glass design that's circular and it's also more clear and it just matches the liquid glass aesthetic and there's also a slightly new animation for that as well so we have to press on that you could see that's the animation whereas now that is the animation so it's a little bit slower and smoother whereas this one's a little bit quicker and like jolty it seems like than at beta 2 so nice update there as well on the lock screen this update also brings a new splash screen for the freeform application so it says organize your content attach objects flexible layout and style your table so we have tables now in freeform and i believe a similar splash screen appeared in beta one but i got this one again here with beta two so of course tables is something new in freeform and they are highly useful if you're somebody who uses this application a lot so you can go down here and you can go to add a table and you can customize that table right here and then taking a look at the release notes there's not a lot mentioned here for the release notes in 26.2 beta 2 but there is one that's interesting here so this is a current bug that does have a workaround so it says devices set to everyone on 26.2 beta 1 are not discoverable by devices on 26.2 beta 2 when it comes to airdrop but as you can see the update is to just simply update both devices to beta 2 of ios 26.2 now as far as the performance and battery life goes here on beta 2 so far so good for me with performance i did run a quick geekbench 6 test so we scored a 3812 9877 you can see how that compares to beta 1 right here so it was higher and the multi-core slightly lower in the single core so obviously not always a telltale sign of exactly what to expect from performance but i would expect the second beta to be very similar to the first beta when it comes to performance of course we should see a gradual improvement with performance but it doesn't always work that way so i will keep monitoring the performance on beta 2 i will be running this on my main device as well i do run these betas on my main device so i will update you guys you know if anything changes with performance but so far everything looks good to me i'm not really noticing any type of issues so far now as far as battery life goes i'm currently at 75 percent you guys might have to go back to the beginning and see what i started the video with but so far battery life seems pretty good i mean i really had no issues with the first beta when it comes to battery life on my main device it was very similar to 26.1 in terms of beta so we'll have to see if that continues here with beta 2 but once again i will give you guys an update in my apple weekly episode if anything changes for the better or for the worse now as far as what to expect next from apple so next up is going to be ios 26.2 beta 3 now we should be seeing that next beta most likely next week so next week is the week of november 17th that is when we should expect to see ios 26.2 beta 3 so after that we should be seeing a beta 4 and then potentially an rc and a final release at some point most likely in mid december so maybe the week of the 15th is when we could see that final release for ios 26.2 but of course we'll have to wait and see on that for sure now in the meantime like i mentioned last week we should also expect to see 
see a 26.1.1 update before the final official release of iOS 26.2. That's most likely just going to be a bug fix update, security patch update as well. So it's patch up some security issues and also to patch up any type of bugs that were lingering after iOS 26.1. So there you have it, guys. That is iOS 26.2 beta 2, a really nice update for these new liquid glass animations throughout iOS. I'm really digging those new animations. And of course, the big one for the measure application as well. When you go into the level, that's also a really cool new animation. So glad to see that. Not a huge update by any means, but of course, we should continue to see new features and changes throughout the beta cycle of 26.2. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite feature. And if you discover anything else, feel free to let me know down there as well. And I will cover any additional features and changes that I missed in my Apple Week episode on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.